Make sure you check out our online store where we work with our graphic designer to create stunning garment and product designs that feature a wide variety of aircraft types such as British fighters, World War II aircraft, American bombers, Russian fighters and much more. You can pick your favourite designs and personalise any items within our Redbubble store that range from clothing right the way through to stationery. All of our designs feature our logo so you can show your support for the channel while getting a quality product. You can head to our website aircrewinterview.tv and click store or go to redbubble.com forward slash people forward slash AC interview. Thank you and enjoy. So can you talk a bit about DACT and the Typhoon? Yeah, so dissimilar combat training. Uh, it's a, it's a, uh, it, it happens on occasions. Um, I'd like to do more of it, but uh, it's where we get airborne uh, with intent to do some visual maneuvering with another aircraft type. So uh, during the OCU, we'll fly Typhoon v Typhoon. There are instances of flying against the Hawks, but normally we usually fly against Red Typhoon. Um, so the DACT allows us to uh, fly with dissimilar aircraft with dissimilar tactics um, to obviously train ourselves to see different pictures. So I was fortunate enough uh, in Langley to uh, fly against the F-22 and, nice. uh, and the Rafale with the French Air Force. I also on my first red flag when I was a junior pilot uh, was fortunate enough to uh, fly against an F-16 from the Aggressor Squadron out there at Nellis Air Force Base. Um, the Typhoon uh, is prim primarily designed as a rate fighter so if I was to merge with another aircraft, I'm going to try and take uh, what we call the, uh, the fight two circle. So he'll be flying on his circle or her and I'll be flying on my circle. And I'm going to try and get around that circle as fast as I can because the Typhoon is designed to be very powerful. Uh, 40,000 pounds of thrust from its two EJ 200s and it's designed to put a lot of G and get around that circle very quickly. For example, if I was to fight uh, something like the F-18, uh, that is designed to be a high angle of attack fighter, an alpha fighter. So he wants to take me single circle, which means means he wants to turn his circle, uh, he wants to have a smaller circle than mine so he can turn inside me and shoot me. The good thing about the Typhoon is with all that excess power that we have and the rate band that we fly in combined with our flight control system so the flight control system is uh, carefree handling so I do not have to worry about pulling the control column fully back and overstressing the jet so my immediate action at any merge is to select full reheat let the uh, reheat um, light and then pull full back stick snapping immediately to 9G um, at that point there if I have my helmet mitered sighted system which is world class I can then look over my shoulder uh, and keep my head there so I can stay tally the whole time I don't have to keep referencing the head up display Another advantage of the HMSS is also I can bring my weapon system into the head-up display, sorry, into my HMSS and lock up the target that I'm fighting and shoot him from over my shoulder. So gone are the days where I actually have to get behind someone um, to be able to shoot them down, which is absolutely amazing. So Sandy, what are the strengths and weaknesses of the Typhoon? So as I've already mentioned, uh, strengths, uh, we have um, a, a phenomenal amount of power. Yeah. So the two Rolls Royce engines, when I light those re reheat, light the reheat, I'm burning 600 kilograms of fuel a minute, but I've got 40,000 pounds of thrust. Obviously, as I climb higher, they become more efficient, and um, so I'll save fuel. So I would say the ability to have that much power with the flight control system limiting my G so I can't overstress it and that how easy the aircraft is to fly with all automatics means that I can focus on fighting uh, the person that or the opponent I'm fighting rather than flying the aircraft which makes my job a lot easier. The Typhoon uh, is a phenomenal swing roll aircraft so we now have a full suite of air to surface weapons from Project Cent Centurion from taking over from the Tornado. At the moment we are going through an upgrade uh, which should be coming in in 2025 to upgrade our radar so I'd say once we get radar 2 I can't fault their aircraft in any way. So how do other nations or pilots view the Typhoon? So we have uh, a few exchange officers uh, flying on 29 Squadron, so uh, one of the guys is an F-22 pilot who was actually on the 94th when I was out there at Langley. Uh, he flies the Typhoon and I think they're just absolutely astounded by the, ex the, the power that the, the jet has and the ability to pull 9G. He also raves actually quite a lot about the uh, anti-G system that we have in okay. the Typhoon. So he says that the uh, full coverage G pants that we wear, the jacket that we have and then the pressure breathing that comes through our mask, it all inflates to be able to let allow me, look I'm built like a beanstalk so not <laughs> designed for G, uh, allows me to sit there and only have to do minimal straining at 9G which is incredible.